Hi, I'm David Watkinson, founder of Fine Day. The reason Fine Day wants to help indigenous people has to do with the fact that I grew up in southern New Jersey in the area of the first Indian reservation in America, which disappeared from history in the 1800s. It was for the tribe known by other Native Americans as the Grandfather Tribe, origin of many other tribes. They call themselves Lenny Lenape, or just Lenape. The English called them the Delawares after the river that ran through their large territory. It covered New Jersey, Delaware, eastern Pennsylvania, and New York, where the Lenape gave Manhattan its name. From age 10 till I went to college, I lived a few miles from the former Lenape Reservation in a little Indian-themed town. It was among lakes at the edge of a vast forest. It was originally comprised of large log cabin hunting lodges for wealthy Philadelphians. When they turned it into a town in the 1930s, they required new homes to still be made of logs, and they kept the Indian theme of so many of the surrounding towns. We didn't have streets. We had trails with Indian names. I lived in a log house on Dakota Trail and later in a house on Wagush Trail, and I went to a high school named after the Lanape. And yet there wasn't much thought given to the Lenape themselves or any other Native Americans. My high school girlfriend, who was from Minnesota, was part Chippewa, but we never really discussed her heritage that much. Indians were a thing of the past. It was all about the future. We were about to go to the moon. It wasn't until well into my 40-year career in Hollywood creating on-set video graphics when I really thought about the issue while doing research for a screenplay. I was shocked to discover that the Lenape had been promised statehood and representation in Congress at one point. And the Lenape chief, Tamanen, was revered by colonists as Saint Tammany, the emblem of peace and harmony amongst peoples. As witnessed by John Adams, in many American towns and cities, May Day was officially celebrated as St. Tammany's Day. For a very long time, there were St. Tammany societies all over America. And I was also very surprised and embarrassed to discover that we had been pronouncing the name of the Lenape tribe incorrectly. In my day, all the white people in New Jersey called them the Lenape. The current remnants of the tribe in Delaware on their website tell a joke about white people not being able to pronounce Lenape. It's not that we can't, it's lack of education and the disappearance of Indians from American culture. You probably never heard of St. Tammany. I didn't, and I went to high school named for his tribe. As a result, if you have a group helping Native Americans or indigenous people somewhere in the world, and you have an important event coming up, we want to help you promote We'll it. make a custom promotional video for you that illustrates our motto, learn from the past, live in the present, and create the future with love. Learn, live, love.